Hi guys, uh, on today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top six, starting with the DXY. So watch up until the end so that you can uh, get to understand each and everything that I'm about to share with you. And then we, I have something for you guys. So watch up until the end so that you can know uh, what I have in store for you guys. So looking at the weekly time frame, we have this high point here, and then we have this lowest point of which is this one here and then the overall pattern that we have is an ascending channel you can just connect these highs like this and then we have the low points of which are these ones here and then the overall structure indicates that we should look for those selling opportunities and then we have this highest high of which is this one here just because initially the market can just give us like some type of a corrective move up until we reach this point and then we get selling opportunities from there instead of getting like continuations to the downside in this area so let's look at the daily time frame so on the daily time frame we have that mass psychology activation as you can see around this point here and then we have a pattern within a pattern in form of an ascending channel just like this and then after that looking at the nature of the market we had a clear impulse to the downside as you can see from this point we had an impulse and then we have this corrective move that we have to work with for next week and then looking at it we created some type of a double bottom around this point of which this double bottom indicates that we are going to have some type of a larger flag that is trying to form up around this area here then you can just connect the highs just like this and then connect the lows just like this so we have a clear expanding pattern that we are going to work with and then we have this high point and then initially what i'll be looking for is for us to get like those buying opportunities up until this point then we have the first touch here the second touch and then we have the third touch of which that is where we are going to see the DXY pushing nicely to the downside or initially if that does not happen then it means that we are going to buy up until we reach this point here in form of a double top or that mass psychology activation and then we sell off from that area so looking at the four hour time frame that is where we check for momentum each and every time how the market is moving and i'll just rain out this trend line here just to make sure that i'm um, catering for the clear touches so we have this expanding pattern on the four hour and then we have a descending channel within there just to show us that we are going to have a reversal soon to the upside and then just like this we expect those buying opportunities and then as you can see we came in form of a corrective move structurally up until we reach this point and we look for those buys up until this point here so just remove those and then make sure that i'm catering for the searches correctly in this area and then looking at the hour time frame since we don't trade like the dxy we're just going to be monitoring it up until it gives us like some type of an entry whereby we are going to use it on the uh, dollar related pairs like your usd chf and euro usd or gold so we have a descending channel within here just like this and then after having the descending channel we had like a push to the upside or an impulse around this area here so initially we look for those tight flags around this point as our first entry just like this 68 hours and then we place an entry or we just monitor it just like this and then the stop loss can be just below and then if you're trading the dxy then you can look forward to taking profits around this point just because that is where we are going to get like a clear reaction whereby it's the third touch or it's the double top override around that point so looking at usdchf and i'll start on the weekly time frame let me refresh the charts so on the weekly time frame we have the overall move is to the downside as you can see we have like this clear push to the downside 
around this area clear push to the downside corrective move around here and then we look for those continuations to the downside up until maybe we reach like this point here of which we have like a weak creation on the higher time frames and then what i'll do is that i'll switch to the daily time frame and then on the daily time frame what we have is a few areas that we can use just because we have this one here in form of that mass psychology activation and then as you can see we have activated that mass psychology and then we are creating a candlestick confirmation around this point and then let me just look at the lows of which these ones will be important also just because we created that mass psychology around here but we can also create it around these lows here and then we look for those buying opportunities up until we reach this point here at the top of the structure and then we also have this overall descending channel around here just like this let me just draw out the overall descending channel and then we have the overall 90 percent of which we look for buys up until here then that is where we are going to reanalyze each and everything and then see if we can have like further continuations whereby we get like a break of structure and then we look for continuations further to the upside or to the downside so let me just remove this one and then on the four hour time frame that is where we are going to refine each and everything just because i think this is the current structure that we can use just like this and then this is the area that we can also use and then just like this we have a descending channel and then we have that mass psychology activation on the higher time frames and then let me cater for the patterns within patterns around this area here since we have like a clear pattern that played out very nicely on previous analysis around here as you can see we have the ascending channel and then now we are creating a descending channel whereby it will clearly push to the upside if it plays out very nicely now according to our plan so let me just draw out like this structure here so in this area we have a descending channel we have that candle we have candlestick confirmation we have a mass psychology so we have like confluences stacked uh, against each other and then we have the 90 percent also on that refined descending channel and then looking at the hour time frame we can just remove like the overall ray line that we used and then we're going to be left with this one just because we haven't tapped that area so we can initially tap it sometime soon and then looking at the inner structures of this descending channel we have this pattern that played out previously around this point and then we have some type of a descending channel also around this area here just like this even though it's not giving out like clear points that we can connect but i think this will work very nicely and then what i'll do is that i'll just use like another ray line around this point just because we have the push to the upside but initially most of the time what will happen is that you'll get price action pushing to the downside creating a double bottom around this point before initially pushing back to the upside or creating that push to the upside corrective move just like this or a tight flag in this area here and then that is when we can look for those buying opportunities so just leave like the ray line just like that even though we have like the pattern complete just because we have multiple touches at the top and then i think we have multiple touches at the bottom so the first entry would be the tight flag just because the risk entry is gone in the stage just because the risk entries are taken on this area around here so if you miss like this trade around this point then initially you can look forward to taking the tight flag around this point around this point or you can take the hover of which is still a tight flag but it's playing around the structures around this area same scenario as the tight flag you take it after six hours and then you place your buy and then the targets are the same of which you target the outer structures then you target the overall 
90% of which it's at the top of the structure for about 25%. So on this one, I'll be looking for a type flag or a hover. And then if those don't do not work, then I'll be looking for a larger flag on the outer structures, just like this, for example. Maybe you get like a larger flag. And then you take it like maybe on the third touch or the override to initially push to the upside just like this and then make sure that your management is on point just because you get we can get like a large rejection or a large move when we react to this area here maybe push back to the downside so make sure that your management is on point and then we target like the same area there is no target you don't have like any take profits you just use like your management whereby if the market pushes to the upside creates a higher low and then a higher high then that is when you can move like your stop loss just below this point and then after creating a new higher low and then a higher high you move your stop loss up until you get tagged out uh, using like structure for example let's say you get tagged out around this point for about 10 percent if you have like taken the trade for example so this is how like you use like your management uh, using like structure so looking at euro usd let's look at the weekly time frame so on euro usd we have a few areas that you can use we have this one and then previously we had like this one of which the mass psychology activation has been activated then we have the lows of which these ones here and then another scenario that i'm seeing is that we are trying to create like some type of a double top formation around this point of which is okay just because we are staking confluences in our favor so that we can take like good trades so looking at the daily time frame that is where we are going to draw like structures just because we have seen like how the market is moving on the higher time frame of which is the weekly so looking at the structures we have like an ascending channel two touches at the top and i think we have two touches at the bottom so this is a clear ascending channel whereby we look for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure most of the time for example let's say this is the trade or this is the idea that we have and then we just wait for the market to clearly correctively push to the upside or structurally and then after reaching the top of the structure of which is this one here then that is where you have like your first touch, second touch, and then initially that's where you get like the third touch to get those selling opportunities. And then if you're not into like risk entries, you can just wait for the overall third touch and then wait for that tight flag. Uh, and then for example, this would be the overall tight flag. Let's say you get the third touch and then you get the first tight flag around this point. And then of which this type of setup is wrong just because you must get the tight flag around this area here for example this is the scenario that you'll be looking for not that one so this is the area that you are looking for a tight flag for you to initially look for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure just like this below the structure just because this is the mass psychology activation this is the price again that created that mass psychology for example and then let's look at the four hour time frame and then move to the lower time frame so that we can get like uh, a clear picture of what's going on so looking at the four hour time frame and then before i forget guys this is a push to the upside initially so this is the middle section and then we look forward to seeing price action pushing to the upside reaching the third touch and then selling off at the top of the structure so let me just draw out like the patterns within patterns and then make sure that everything is stacked in our favor and then guys if you have like any questions you can just drop it in the comment section and then i'll respond and then you must click that like button and then looking at the structure the middle section is nice and then now we are correcting to the upside 
mind you we have this double top formation at the top of the structure whereby the market does not need to do anything for you to take like any trade just because in some instances we can sell from this point to the downside just because we have the mass psychology activation also around this point and then remember on the daily time frame i said we have already activated that mass psychology around this point on the highest time frame so make sure that you are on your ball when you're trading like this setups and then looking at the structure on the day on the hour time frame sorry we are creating that ascending channel just like this and then we have two touches at the top but i think it's three touches just because already this is a near miss around this point just because this is one near miss two and then we have the third touch initially so at the top of the structure was like a nice trade just because you will be protected taking risk entries is risky but like sometimes it can save you like from a lot of losses or else just because at the top of the structure you know that you are protected and then whenever the trade pushes nicely to the downside then you can protect some of the profits so looking at this structure at the moment we also have like a pattern within a pattern around this point just like this and then after getting that pattern within a pattern we are looking for that first tight flag around this area here which i can just remove this ray line just because already we tap that area and then you just put it at the top of the structure remember what i said the market can just correct up until it reaches this point double top formation in form of an ascending channel then we sell off and then the way that we take like this type of setup is whereby you take a sell at the top of the structure with a candlestick confirmation or you can just wait for the market to break structure or the ascending channel whereby you place your sell stop your stop loss is just above this point you target the low as your first target just because we have the first touch the second touch so initially we can have the third touch as our take profit just like that and then looking at the overall structures as i said we are looking to swing this setup up until we reach like this point and then as i said this is a 40 percent trade but you won't get like the overall 40 percent just because we are using like management we are using structure sometimes you will get tagged out maybe for example around this area for about 15 percent of which is okay if you are risking one percent per trade and then this is the scenario that i have at the top of the structure just because we have this mass psychology activation and then we are reacting very nicely to this ascending channel and then the momentum is with us as you can see at the top let me just zoom in the momentum is with us around this point as you can see it's pushing very nicely and then another scenario that we have would be reaching the overall third touch just because this is not a complete pattern let me just close this out as you can see this is an ascending channel but we haven't reached the overall third touch of which ideally can be at the top just like that and then you take your risk entry of which is at the top just like that for example and then we target the same targets that we are we have been targeting on the on this one here and then initially if you are not into risk entries as i said on those higher time frames you can just wait for the first tight flag for example just like this then we sell off most of the time we get the first tight flag happening the second tight flag happening around here then we create some type of a larger flag formation then we sell off from this point to that point this is the scenario that this is, these are the scenarios that i have on euro usd and then let's look at gold So on gold we're going to start on the weekly time frame also since the markets are closed so we have this high point make sure that you cater for those with creation just because these creations can be filled by the market so make sure that you cater for them it's also price action so we have the lows which are these ones here and then looking at the overall market structure as you can see we have been pushing to the upside for quite a long time as you can 
see around from this point, we have been pushing to the upside. So looking at the daily time frame, and then remember guys, we are using the DXY to get like more confluences. It doesn't mean that we are using like price action only. We are also using like the, DS the DXY as our tool also so that we can take like good entries. As you can see, most of my setups are USD based. So looking at this structure on the daily time frame, we also have the ascending channel as you can see here. And then the ascending channel is just a reversal pattern to the downside. And then the descending channel is a reversal pattern to the downside. So we have the ascending channel, the first touch, the second touch, the middle section, the push to the upside to create the third touch to initially sell off. And then the other scenarios is that we have the mass psychology at the lows of which this can just sell off from there instead of giving us the overall the touch that we're looking for that's in line with the mass psychology activation so looking at the four hour time frame that is where you're going to see like how the momentum is kicking on the daily time on the higher time frames on this four hour chart here so on the four hour chart we haven't reached the third touch but we created a ascending channel very structural ascending channel as you can see here i can just use like this as a reference just like this to connect like the overall touches so this is the ascending channel that we have instead of getting like the overall the touch initially of which it's going to be here so looking at the hour time frame so on the hour time frame taking this trade will be risky just because we don't have structure looking left looking left we don't have like any structure we're just going to use like that mass psychology activation we're going to use like patterns we're going to use like momentum in our favor so this is the ascending channel within an ascending channel around this point as you can see around this area and then initially what we are going to look for is a tight flag just because we didn't have any tight flag that happened around this point but i think we had like a tight flag around this area here of which this was a missed entry for me just because this would this would have been like a nice trade at the top of the structure and then you look for those selling opportunities first target would be around this point here around this point for about 6.5 percent and then the second target would be at the third touch outer structures for about 12 and then the overall 90 percent for about 31 and then as you all know you can bank the 31 percent but using like your management skills or using like your trading management or trade management skills you can uh, bank around 12 percent around this area or this area for about 20 depending on how you manage your trade so this is the scenario that we have so currently we are going to get like some type of etai flag around this point this would be a nice setup that i'd like to take first side flag for about six to eight hours after six hours you place your sell stop just a few pips below stop loss can be just above we target this area for about 2.77 percent of which after you reach like one percent that is when you can move like your stop loss to break even and then just hold so the second target would be 7.09 percent overall target would be at around 23 percent of which it's still okay for you to take like this type of setup but not forgetting that we can create the overall third touch and then sell off from there and then looking at NZD, USD, let me just remove all the analysis. So on the weekly time frame. So on the weekly time frame, we have NZD, USD, and then we have created this low point of which we didn't create the mass psychology activation of which it's not convincing for us to look for those buying opportunities but instead we are going to look for selling opportunities up until we fill this area and then that is when we can have like that mass psychology for us to buy from there 
So let me just remove those. And then we can have the highest high being this one here. And then on the daily time frame, we have a few scenarios that I was looking at just because we have this high point. And then we also have this area here of which this was the mass psychology area is because looking left, you'll see that we created everything that we wanted to see in the markets. And then we have the ascending channel around this point, just like this. Let me just do this, make sure that it's a good angle. But I'll define it on the lower time frame. And then looking at the structure, we created a double top formation, as you can see at the top of the structure. Then we had the momentum pushing to the downside. We created this larger flag. So impulse correction, and then we look for another impulse to initially hit the overall 90%. So let me just remove those analysis. And then on the four hour time frame, that is where we check for momentum, just to make sure that this impulse that we were talking about on the daily time frame is valid for us to take like trade. So let me just refine here. Make sure that I'm catering for the patterns, what then patterns, even though they are all data, but we can just refer to them, make sure that everything is still intact. And then let me just remove these, the three line here. And then I'll just use like a zone in here so that you can just see like the double top that I was talking about. But in this case, it's like a triple top or something. And then we also have like a push to the upside whereby we created a double top also at the top of the structure. Then we created the ascending channel around this point, just like this. And then we had that nice impulse to the downside, corrective move, impulse to the downside, corrective move, and then we have the impulse. Then after that, we created this larger flag of which uh, I'm going to analyze in a few. So we have this ascending channel around this point of which this is a ascending channel but it's not that convincing for us but looking at the top we can have like this high point here then after having that high point we can have like the lowest point of which this can be like our first target and then i'll just throw out like the structures that i left behind which is this one here And then we have another structure around this point here, just like this. Then looking at the hour time frame, we have a double top formation instead of getting like clear structures around this point, just because we have two touches and then two touches at the bottom. And then this area here, that's where we got like that mass psychology in the lower time frames. And then this would be the ascending channel, of which is not perfect. So this is the ascending channel. And then remember what I said on the Euro USD uh, analysis, whereby you can take like a risk entry on the double top as long as we are using structure. And then everything is aligning with everything that we want or aligning with your trading plan, then you can just place a sell stop just below and then your stop loss can be just above. You target this area here for about 4.7 and then you target the overall lows for about 19%. So in this case, we are looking for a continuation to the upside to the downside sorry so let's remove these just because what i'm seeing at the moment is that we are currently at that red zone which means we can initially push to the upside create some type of a larger flag before we sell off on the third touch just because uh around this area here for us to get like a tight flag just because there was no tight flag around this point or this point so what we can do is that we can just wait for the market to break structure of which is around this area. And then this would be like this. After breaking the low, then we can look for a new tight flag of which it's here. This would be a nice trade to take instead of taking a tight flag around this point. 
is because it can create like some messy price action like this and then that is where we are going to sell off for example let me just remove these we can create something of this nature something like this now let me just do this whereby this type of an expanding pattern you trade it in two ways the first way is the double top formation just like this then we sell off of which you take the entry at this area then your stop loss can be just above and then the other way would be waiting for the market to initially correct structurally or very correctively it doesn't matter whenever we reach this first touch second touch that touch then you can look for a risk entry at the top of the structure just like this stop loss can be just about 20 20 pip stop target the third touch for about 5.6 the 90 percent of this pattern here of which it would be around let's see 12% and then the overall target would be at the lows of which it's here for about 89% of which this is a good setup for you to take this coming week then let's look at GBP, JPY so GBP, JPY on the weekly time frame so we have this high point we have this lower high and then we have the lower lows of which they are here seems like we have equal lows around that point then we have an ascending channel and then after getting this ascending channel around this point we reacted very nicely just because we initially pushed to the downside and then it seems like we are creating some type of a larger flag around this point to initially sell off since we had like that mass psychology activation then it seems like we reached the third touch area around that point so looking at the daily time frame so on the daily we have like some choppy price action on gbp jpy but let me just try and figure out what's going on here so the ascending channel is at the top of the structure here then we have the push to the downside and then created this flag, larger flag. Then you will see it properly on the lower time frame of which these patterns can be like very small on the higher time frame. But when you get to the lower time frame, that's where you're going to understand each and everything or the metrics behind each and every pattern. So looking at this area here, we have the impulse correction, impulse, and then we can have like this as a larger corrective leg to push to the downside so let me just draw out like the structures here just because we have the overall movement we just have to execute and just wait for the right time for us to execute so at the top of the structure we created the double top and then let's look at the lower time frame so on the four hour chart that back so on the four hour what i'm looking at is this double top override and then i'm also looking at momentum or the nature of the market how the market is moving and then so far we have choppy price action going up and then this is the area that i'm talking about around this area here we created like some type of an ascending channel within an expanding so this is the price action that we have and then it's very convincing just because you must have like corrective price action on like uh, POIs or value areas just because we have the double top as our value area then we have the third touch as our value area so seeing price action moving in this type of fashion it shows that we can have like a good trade in our hands so looking at the overall one hour time frame we created the double top formation but what i'll be looking for is an overall flat touch just because this would be a very very monster trade just because looking at it we have the first touch second touch 
then we can have like the third touch. But looking at the pattern within pattern also, we have the first touch, the second touch. The third touch will make each and everything to connect very nicely, of which the third touches will give us like a nice cell at the top of the structure. Stop loss can be just above this point. And then we target this area for about 10%. And then the overall outer structure for about 15%. And then let's look at the higher time frame just because the target is much, much, much larger. So let me just switch to the daily time frame. So this can be a swing trade, guys. Just because looking at the structures, we can have like a 48% trade in our hand. So let's go back to the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, that's my initial trade setup that I'll be looking for. And then if I miss this trade here, or I don't want to look for uh, this type of setup, or I don't get like a clear confirmation at the top of the structure, what I'll do is that I'll just wait for that push to the downside. And then the first tight flag, this would be another trade setup that I'll be looking for. And then another trade setup would be waiting for the break of structure or ascending channel. And the first tight flag would be okay. So these are the scenarios that I have on GBPJPY. And you can just check for yourself if you see like anything different and share with us with in the comment section. So looking at the weekly time frame on Euro JPY, of which is our last setup on the weekly time frame. So we have this point here, the mass psychology activation. We have the high point. And then what I've seen in most cases is that the first mass psychology of which is this one tends to work out more than like the one at the top of which is this one here. So make sure that you are on your game when you take like trades on the first mass psychology activation, same as like the supply and demands. The first, the first one always works out. And then the second one, it's highly unlikely for it to work out. So looking at the lows of which is this one here and then the structure we have like this choppy price action around this point of which it's not okay to have like price action like that and then this is the ascending channel and then we have two touches initially at the top and two touches at the bottom and then i'll just remove this line here just leave like the one at the top just because we haven't tapped it and then i'll put another one in this area to cater for that double top override and then we sell off from there and then looking at the daily time frame so on the daily time frame we have like a few patterns that we can just work with so this is the area that we can just draw out then we have another one at the top of the structure just like this so initially we have like an expanding an ascending channel within and expanding around this point here so initially what i'm thinking is that the double top will be okay for us to take like the trade just because Already, this is a corrective price action whereby we can just sell off at the top of the structure with that double top. And then looking at the four hour time frame. So, this is the area that I was talking about, like on the higher time frame. We are moving very structurally in form of an ascending channel. So, we can look for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure. And then on this one, I'll be looking for risk entries only just because it's very very corrective and then if the risk entry does not work out at the top of the structure maybe for on this one here for example on that override and then my stop loss can be just above we target the lows as obvious if this does not work then it means that we can look for entries at the top of the structure just because if you rain this trend line back a bit you'll see that we have an expanding pattern that is going on so we can have another trade at the top and then we target this area 
for about 7.5.15% and then the second target would be at around 11 and then on the daily time frame just because we have a lot of swing trades in our hands so this is the area that we can have as our target for about 20% and then let's look at the hour time frame so on the hour time frame still the same scenarios that i'll be looking for i'll be looking for risk entries initially in this area here in this high point or the overall set touch of which it will be around this point here so that is it for today's market breakdown and i'll see you on another one make sure you click the like button you drop a comment and then yeah before i forget guys those who want like free mentorship you can just get an account with funded next using my link in the description below and then you will get like a chance to be like in the vip group for free so yeah i'll see you on another video make sure that you have subscribed click that notification bell yes have a great day